Hey everybody, this is Jeremy, better known here on Steemit as Abolitionist J. For those of you who don't know me, I am a podcaster. I have a number of shows I either helped create or am a part of. I have my own project called Abolitionist Abstractions. Uh, I am also the co-host and co-creator of the Seeds of Liberty podcast, as well as a co-host on the Freedom Fiends ra radio show and the Lulberts podcast all of which can be found at links I'll, I'll put in the show notes. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm here. I've uh, been on Steemit for a little while now. I made my introductory post. I've been putting a lot of my content up here. And I have also proclaimed that a lot of the new content, especially from the Seeds of Liberty and Abolitionist Abstractions, uh, my own personal projects, we're going to be put here on Steam at first rather than some of the other platforms we've used in the past. This video in particular will probably end up being just for you Steamians here. I don't even think I'm going to bother putting this up on YouTube because, well, screw YouTube and not just because of the shooting that happened yesterday. Just screw them in general. Uh, anyway, so I'm here today. Uh, I've been doing some blog posts recently related to my move the, my upcoming move, uh, I should say, and anybody who has been following along with me has probably also caught some of the court update videos I've put out. And this all ties to me trying to get out of the DPRNY, as I refer to it, the Democratic People's Republic of New Yorkistan, and all the issues I've been having just trying to get the hell out of here. Some self-inflicted, others state-inflicted, and those are obviously always the worst. And my recent three-part blog series, which may not be over yet, we'll see. I have the uh, sanitation department, the monopolized town sanitation department scheduled to come back again this week and next week. And I'll put those, I'll put some links for those in the show notes as well for anybody who hasn't read those. It's just been a cluster F <laughs> to deal with the local government. And unfortunately, this has been part of kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy because I stated at the beginning of my attempt to leave New Yorkistan when I was discussing things with my real estate attorney that I had a bad feeling that the state was going to throw everything in its way possible to keep me from leaving this hellhole. And sure enough, it has all come to pass. I have my legal situation, which is still ongoing. You can find links to that in the show notes and in, in my blog in the past too, for any of those who aren't aware. I will actually be compiling a much larger video uh, covering the entire situation once it is all completed. Uh, unfortunately, we're still not at that point yet almost a year later and that thing still drags on, but that'll be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, another reason I wanted to do this video was also because I do a lot of audio content and I do that because it's the activism, I guess to use a word I don't usually like to use, but it's the activism I find the easiest to do. It's also the one skill <laughs> or, you know, gift, I guess I was told I always had, even from a very young age, is that I, I had a very good speaking voice and you should be on the radio, son. And well, here I am at the age of 41 now. I finally made it on the radio a couple of years ago. And like I said, I do, I do other podcasting and stuff too. But I, since being on Steemit, I have seen that DTube is obviously a, a much better situation than YouTube as far as I'm concerned. And I figured I should make use of it as like some of the other people here, you know, one of my uh, newfound, well, refound friends, I guess, uh, Kafka Anarchy, Graham Smith, who we've known each other for a long time through this movement, kind of lost touch for a while. And now that I'm here on Steam, it, he and I have reconnected and hopefully I will have him on my show soon. But uh, I've been watching some of his videos and I figured, yeah, you know what, let's put a face out there to the uh, voice as well. So also because there's probably going to be a lot of these coming up soon. Uh, part of my moving process, uh, as as I've mentioned, like I said, in, in my previous blog post and stuff and some of my other podcasts, I have had to deal with this state in a myriad of ways, just jumping through all the legal bullshit, bureaucratic hoops and everything. And it's slowing down the process. But, you know, hopefully the house will officially be sold soon because, well, I'm running out of money and I could really use some right about now. And when the house is officially sold, 
I am going to end up being temporarily homeless. Now, I don't use that word lightly, but I also know this is a choice that I am making. Uh, I could very well take the money from the sale of my house and find a place to rent for a little while or even stay in some hotels or motels or something. But I actually want to use this opportunity to not only save as much money as I possibly can before I'm finally able to find a location in Indiana, which is where my family and I are going to be moving to, that is, you know, works for all of us. So in order to say, I'm not doing it just to save money towards those ends, you know, without wasting it on another rental or a hotel room or a motel room or something like that. But I also want to kind of test out the, it's not quite van nomadism. Uh, for those of you who are not aware or have never heard of that term before, there is a podcast run by a couple of friends of mine called the Vanu Podcast, uh, hosted by Shane Radliff, Jason Booth, who are both friends of mine, and Kyle. I always forget Kyle's last name, so I apologize, Kyle. Uh, I'm not friends with Kyle. I don't actually know him. But uh, my other two friends are there, and they've been doing this podcast for a while now. And it talks about this freedom strategy called Vanu which was created by this guy who went by the pseudonym of Rayo back in the, uh, I guess, mid-60s, early 70s. Uh, and it's actually a precursor to Samuel Konkin's agorism because he actually published all of his stuff on agorism, the first things he started putting out a, well uh, over a decade after Rayo had actually formulated the strategy. But anyway, part of the whole... Vanu strategy or one of the strategies for Vanu, which the idea of is is to limit the amount of coercion you have to face from the state. So trying to become as free as you possibly can in the present, which obviously I'm a huge fan of and have always been a big fan of. So I was drawn to the concept right away. But one of the strategies is called van nomadism, where you literally live out of a van. Um, the tiny home movement can kind of be connected to this, but it was actually started by people literally living out of oversized vans. Uh, people also turning, you know, smaller mobile homes into basically their house um, or anything like box vans, stuff like that. Anyway, it's a it's a movement that caught on for a little while. It's starting to see a resurgence, and. I, I know my buddy Shane over at the Vanu podcast is actually looking to do this full time. Like that's where he's trying to take his life because of my situation with my family and my kids. I don't really think that's going to be feasible for us, but I did want to test it out. And this is actually an opportunity for me to do that because like I said, I'm going to be quote unquote temporarily homeless once the sale of my house is complete and I'll be that way for however long it takes me for to travel back and forth between New Yorkistan and Indiana to find a good location for my family and I and for us to actually rent that location. So however long that takes, I'm going to be out of home. And I figured, well, I don't want to spend any more money. My kids and my wife have a place to go. They have an apartment they can stay at. I am not welcome there because the owners of the said apartment and I do not get along. But that's fine. As long as my kids are safe, I could care less. So the murder dog and I, my dog, Cameron, will attempt to live out of my Honda Element for a little while. And because I've been listening to the Vanu podcast and because I've been following what those guys do and listening to the stories of other people, I figured, hey, we could give this a shot. You know, for anybody who doesn't know, Honda Element's a great vehicle to attempt this in because you can just take the back seats out. You got plenty of room to lay down. Uh, there's no carpeting in there. So some people may think that's less comfortable, but for me, that's great because it means less mess. Any mess that's in there can be cleaned up easily. But there's plenty of room in there for the for Murder Dog and I to sleep and plenty of room to keep all my other stuff. And because the Element is kind of boxy shaped, it's got a relatively high roof on it actually going to be a decent place to try to record from which is what I'm going to try to do and that's actually another reason like I was saying before why I wanted to do this video is kind of a precursor to all those because there's probably going to be more videos for me coming out I really want to try to get into the whole DLive thing unfortunately I am technologically illiterate largely I do have friends who are going to help me with this stuff but I'm not going to get probably not going to get around to setting that up until after I leave my house. And then once I do leave, uh, recording shouldn't be an issue because, well, as long as I can keep my laptop charged 
and I have quiet, I can record pretty much anytime, anywhere. It'll just be a matter of finding internet to be able to upload these things. So I'm going to hold off on the D live stuff for now, but I do intend on shooting maybe daily. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but videos, uh, kind of, uh, chronicling my journey from being a homeowner to being temporarily homeless to starting my journey out to Indiana. I actually intend on chronicling that, that trip as well, because like I said, I am going to start taking, uh, little journeys out that way. Hopefully soon. My last official day of work is this Friday. So only a couple of days from now. And then my next court date is next week. Once that's done, I hope to finally have a closing date for the sale of my house. But in either case, whether I have the date or not, and whether my court case is finally finished or not, I need to get a move on. So I was planning on heading out to Indiana shortly thereafter. So maybe by the tail end of next week, possibly the beginning of the following week, we will see how things play out. But my my plan is to travel out that way possibly stop off and see some anarchist libertarian friends that I have along the path. And then also, while I'm in Indiana, attempt to visit as many possible locations, houses that I've already scouted out online and stuff like that, towns I've already scouted out online, and actually go there and try to get a feel for these areas. And like I said, also meet up with some of my anarchist volunteerist friends along the way, especially the ones who are in Indiana. And I plan on hopefully locating myself somewhere near to so we can uh, do some other fun projects once we get there. But yeah, so I plan on doing that soon. And I'm probably going to end up chronicling that journey with at least a daily video, me, murder dog and I in the car, you know, just trying to let everybody know how things are going, what, uh, what we see as we drive halfway, well, almost halfway across the country, and that type of stuff. So yeah, so there's probably going to be more of these coming. And like I said, before I make the trip, maybe even after I come back from the trip, while I am still out of actual home, uh, out of a actual home, I'm going to have a lot of time for recording stuff. Not as much time for doing all the other podcasts that I normally do because, well, internet may be an issue. So I may have to put either either put some of those on hold or reschedule some of those. But recording by myself, ah, that I can do easy. So, yeah, I'm hoping to do a lot of those. So I just wanted to put this video out there first and kind of just let everybody know what's about to come in the near future. So I think that's about all I have for today. There's probably more, but I'm like half listening for my kids in the other room because I'm supposed to be playing daddy right now, although they are comfortably watching one of their favorite shows, so they should be good for a few minutes. Anyway, I think I will wrap this one up. Uh, once again, this this has been Abolitionist J. Uh, you can find all my content here on Steemit at, at Abolitionist J. Or if you want to go track down all my other content in a easier to find situation because sometimes scrolling through my blog may take a while. Uh, you can find all of my other content at solpodcast.org. So look forward to talking to you folks again in the near future. And until then, love, peace, and voluntary interactions for all. <laughs>